the differences with the ball coming from a left hand as opposed to a right hand? Because it moves the other way. I, I don't know, Bucky, if you've ever tried to catch a punt from a left-footed punter. With a punter, when they punt it, and you know, you, you're used to the ball going up and sort of curving off to the right, right? And so when it's a left-footed punter, it does the opposite. It comes up and goes this way. So the difference between the two can be five or six yards, right? So you're, you're looking at, instead of it being three yards this way, it's three yards that way on the punt. Well, the same thing happens on deep balls with, with a left-handed quarterback. So now instead of the natural curve coming off this way, the curve is coming off this way. And so balls that you ordinarily would wait and fade over your shoulder and try and catch, now all of a sudden are being caught in front of you. And so it's a difference. I want to get up the field a little bit because what happens is he releases me and runs behind me. So when I stop trying and pull back through him, he's in front of me, you know? But probably the hardest thing for me was the rotation of the ball. It's a little bit different of the dynamic. The ball comes out of our hands a little bit differently and it comes from a different arm angle and slot. So as a from a right-handed passer, you're predominantly catching the ball with your right hand. Deep for Collinsworth, he's open. Got it, what a catch. Going downfield, looking directly back over his hip. So that feels, that to me always felt like the pressure point of catching the ball from a right-hander. So your whole life, that's all you did. You just caught the ball, you know, sort of with your right hand, three quarters, and your left hand a quarter. Yeah, I know. I, I, I often ask my receivers if it was that much of a difference catching the ball for me. You know, after about a week, they got used to it. Now a left-handed quarterback comes along, and now you're catching at three quarters with your left hand and one quarter with your right hand, which is completely opposite of what you're used to doing over the entirety of your career. You know, if you're not used to playing with a left-hander, uh, I could see how that could be a little bit uh, uncomfortable at the beginning. And plus, Boomer threw the ball about 400 miles an hour. He threw everything a little bit high. Chris Collinsworth right, used to complain that I threw the ball high. And it, it was, I mean, it, it, the first game he ever played that we ever played together with him as a starter, he threw me 17 passes in that game. And about the third one was so high and I jumped up and the guy did the old flip me over thing. And by the end of this game, the next day, he sent a masseuse to my house. You know, and I would just say, just go up and get it for God's sake. That's what we're paying for, paying you for.